Did you know that the shadow that the moon casts on the Earth during an eclipse has a name? In fact, there are several fascinating elements during an eclipse. First, let's talk about the different parts of the moon's shadow that are cast on the Earth during an eclipse. The umbra is the deepest, darkest part of the moon's shadow, which shines on a relatively small area of the Earth. And if you happen to live within that umbral shadow, you're going to experience a total solar eclipse meaning the moon will completely cover the sun. The penumbra is the part of the shadow that stretches out further, it's wider, and if you happen to live within the penumbral shadow, you're going to experience a partial solar eclipse. Let's talk about some of the spectacular sights that can be seen during an eclipse. The moon has a very rugged surface with lots of mountains and craters. When the moon has almost completely covered the sun, that rugged surface allows some of the light from the sun to pass through. This creates kind of a speckled appearance, and this is known as Bailey's beads. And when the moon has almost completely covered the sun, there might be one single point of light shining through that looks like a diamond in the sky. And so that is aptly known as the diamond ring. Also, during a solar eclipse, because the moon completely covers the sun, you can see the outer layer of the sun's atmosphere. We call this the corona, and it was actually first discovered during a solar eclipse. Now, a lot of times people think solar eclipses are really rare. Solar eclipses happen on a fairly regular basis, but a total solar eclipse will only happen about every 18 months. And what is rare is to be in the path of a total solar eclipse. Sometimes people ask the question, why isn't there a solar eclipse every month? And in order for a solar eclipse to happen, the moon and sun have to line up with each other. And that doesn't happen every month because the moon's orbit around the Earth is actually tilted by about five degrees with respect to the plane of the Earth orbiting the sun. As we've touched on, there are more kinds of eclipses than just total solar eclipses. In fact, Kansas will experience a partial solar eclipse in April of 2024. During a partial solar eclipse, only part of the sun is covered by the disk of the moon. So for Kansas, that will be around 90% in April. The distance from the moon to the earth varies. And if an eclipse occurs when the moon is at its furthest distance from earth, not all of the sun will be completely covered. And instead what you get is a ring around the moon. And this is known as an annular eclipse, or is also sometimes called the ring of fire. A hybrid eclipse is a combination of a total solar eclipse and an annular eclipse. It could start out as a total, and then the rotation of the Earth could move you away from the moon enough that you could end up with an annular, where you end up with that ring of fire. So that would be a really spectacular kind of eclipse to view.